Yo, what should my next video be? Spending $5 million at the Gucci store in Nichols. Going to the Balenciaga store with the Balenciaga face tat. Shopping at the Goyard store barefoot after not shining for three months with famous decks. Blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing up the Gucci store while wearing a hype -piece outfit on the first day of school. Spending $2 trillion on cloud goggles. What's up YouTube? Jacob here. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're going to be comparing $10 denim and $1,000 denim. It's going to be quite a video. Before I get into it, I just want to say thank you guys for 60 k At the beginning of the summer, I was kind of bored with YouTube. But in the last few months, I've switched up the content and trying some new things. A lot of cringy stuff has happened. Take this arm. Let it flop. But overall, you guys have received it super well, and I appreciate your support so much. So first off, on the agenda, we woo, we have to get the $10 jeans. And that requires, dude, and that requires going to the thrift store, pulling up with a stick, oh. cut, pulling up to the thrift store, and buying some denim. Also, here's a few of my favorite comments on the last one, and this one I want to know. Does Little Skies look like Aladdin with face tats? If they didn't have the denim, I wouldn't be surprised. However, it would also suck. We got the pants. They're fire. They're size 36, so gonna have to sew them up. Adding to the wash a little bit right now. Some distressing. These jeans are about to go through a journey. And when they're done, they're gonna look sick. That was worth it for the meme. <laughs> the pants came in, and we're gonna unbox them right now. Here's my address, come find me. All right, let's go. They feel pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. The epitome of Tumblr. Dude, they look like they're gonna fit pretty far, I'm not gonna lie. As you can see guys, they have like a seam here, a seam here, same on the back, the pockets are a little bit messed up. Pretty cool, honestly. But Look how much they cost. What? Dude. Two. Holy. I thought this was going to be $1,000 denim, but open the clickbait a little bit. 2000 Bro. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, I'm going to try these on right now. Okay. Worth $2,000 or not, I'm going to say a few things about these. The fabric on them feels super nice. Like it's really stiff. It's honestly like my ideal denim fabric. Like no stretch, stiff, nice structure to it. Also the fit, like they honestly fit really, really good. Like I like them a lot. Really, really good. I really like how they fit. Like, like tell like, me. Like, 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 like. But regardless, they are $2,000. So let's sew those ones, compare them, and we can pick a winner. Okay, so I sewed them all up. They look all right, they look pretty good. Like, compared to how they used to look, I think the fitting of them is, it's not bad, right? $10, really not bad. All right, so let's compare them, see if they're worth it, see which one's better, and which one you should buy. Let's do it. Let's compare these. I'm gonna compare these in a few ways that hopefully are important to you guys. Number one is the fabric. The fabric is somewhat similar, but I do think it's a lot nicer on the Vetmont. They're about the same thickness, Obviously, when you're buying vintage Levi's, they've been worn a ton. They're kind of soft. They've been in the washer a lot, and they kind of have that soft feel where it kind of loses its structure. It's a little bit fuzzy on the outside, whereas on the Vetmont pair, they're really stiff. They have a good structure to them, but, you know, that's to be expected from a new pair of pants. Next is the fit. The Levi's pants, you're probably not going to find a vintage pair of Levi's out of the thrift that are going to fit you exactly how you want. You're going to have to sew them, whether that's taking them to the tailor or doing it yourself. But it's some effort, and the Vetmont pair just came fitting me absolutely perfect. I'm not going to do anything to them. And there is something super nice about just getting a pair of pants and out of the package. They fit perfect. That rarely happens for me. We're $2,000. I don't know. One thing I will note about when you customize Levi's, I've done it in the past. I've had many pairs. When you sew them up, there's always something about them that doesn't really fit correctly. So these are like a 32 waist. And so usually like the crotch will have too much fabric in it or the upper thigh 
or the waist will bunch in a weird way. And that consistently has happened to me. It's a little thing, it's kind of annoying, but it is something to keep in mind. They're not gonna be completely fully fitting perfectly. Whereas these, Vetmont actually collaborated with Levi's and the pants fit exactly how they should. Here's what I will say about them. For me, the Vetmon pair, it's not worth $2,000. For $300, I'm happy with them. I, when I bought them, I wasn't completely sure if I was gonna keep them or sell them, but now after having them, I'm gonna definitely keep them. There's a few reasons you might want to buy the Vetmons. Number one, it's like a piece. It has design behind it, it has the seams, which are super cool. I really like how the bottom is uneven. And there's a Vetmon tag on it. They have a design to them, whereas the Levi's are more of a basic pant. Now, if you you know, if you don't want to spend a ton of money on pants, obviously you're going to go for the cheaper pair. They, they work just fine. There's differences between them, but they're not super vast. If you do have the money to spend, but you don't really wear denim that much, it's probably not worth buying these. I'm probably going to wear these twice a week, maybe even more. But if you're someone who only wears black denim a couple times a week, then it probably isn't worth buying such an expensive pair. A lot of people are probably calling me a jerry boy in the comments for having so much denim in this video, but I really think denim is making a comeback. Dark wash denim, I think is dope. Some light wash denim I like a lot and obviously black wash denim I've said that before it really depends on how you like it to fit so I like mine to fit obviously not super skinny kind of like a slim fit and there's something about denim it kind of gives off like an American vibe I really like it I'm, I'm getting I'm becoming more of a fan of it and black denim is so subtle so really it's up to you which is better for me I actually think these are worth $300 not 2000 obviously but these for $10 though I mean it's $10 like you're getting a pair of pants it's probably gonna last you as long as you keep them. It all depends on your budget, how often you wear denim, and really it's up to you to make your own decision. Now with these, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I think I might give them away. If you want me to give this away, just drop a comment. I could just send them out to somebody because I'm probably not gonna wear them that much and I'm sure one of you guys would like them. That's my comparison. Let me know what you think. Am I a hype beast for thinking the Vet Mont pair is worth it? Blowing up. But that's the whole video. Here's a few people who have tagged me in fits recently. Shout out to these people. And yeah, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I love you all. As always, my name is Jacob. Peace out, you guys. Take care.